Hey guys, welcome back to the Rand family. So today's video is going to be a huge clothing haul, specifically a fall clothing haul for my kids. I know it's a little early for fall, we're still in summer, but for me, once it hits August, I just immediately switch into fall mode and I just get so excited. Fall is my favorite season. I absolutely love everything about it. So this is going to be a clothing haul for my kids. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Brittany. I do have three girls, Jade who is 10 months, Layla is seven, and Aurora is three. So I bought them a ton of clothes. All of it is from H&M. Make sure you guys check out the description for all of the links as always. So personally for my girls, I love to match them. They love it too. And the best place that I found to find matching clothing for them is H&M. They do run a little bit big though, I will say that. So for bottoms, like leggings, pants, I do size down. And then if it's like a fancier kind of like blouse top, I will also size down. But if it's like a basic um, plain t-shirt or like a t-shirt dress, kind of just like more basic clothing pieces like that, then I will either size up or just get the regular sizing. That way they get more wear out of it. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I have a ton, you guys, so much. So typically I only do two big purchases throughout the year for my kids. One big purchase in the beginning of the year for like spring and summer and then another towards the end of the year for fall winter. So that's what all of this is. This is going to be like their fall winter wardrobe. So I got a lot and I do like to match my girls. So I did get a bunch of matching outfits. Not for Jade, who is my youngest, because they didn't really have any matching pieces, but I did still try to get pieces that look similar to the girls. So this stack is Layla, and then this stack is Aurora's. I've already organized it. As you can see, pretty much all of their clothing matches. So instead of showing you guys doubles, I'm just going to show you guys one stack. So the first thing that I got for both Aurora and Layla is this overall dress outfit i think this is so pretty to me this just screams like fall and it gives me like halloween vibes which is my favorite holiday so i just absolutely love everything about this i think it would be perfect if we go like to the pumpkin patch i plan on putting them in like little booties and i just think this will be so adorable so it is a overall dress so the straps do adjust if you want to make it bigger, smaller. The shirt does come out too, it's not attached. So if you wanted to, you can get a ton of use out of this because you can just put a bunch of different shirts underneath this dress to kind of like change up the look. So here is the top. The sleeves kind of have like this cinching detail. Next thing that I got for both Aurora and Layla is this two pack. So here's what the first shirt looks like. And these are really good material too. These feel really thick. So these would be perfect for like wearing underneath shirts like as thermals for the winter. So I might pick up a couple more of these for them just because it does get really cold where we live. We do live in the desert. So come winter time, it gets really, really cold. So these would be perfect. And they are like neutral tone, which you guys know I love. I love my neutrals. So this one is kind of in like a oatmeal brownish grayish kind of color. Kind of has like a little scallop detail along the collar and then along the sleeves. And then the other one is in this um, kind of like dusty muted pink color. And they are ribbed too. Next thing I got for Aurora and Layla is another dress. This one is in a leopard print and it has like a dark pink kind of corally type of color. And I did size up in this dress too for both of them just because like I said, they'll get a ton of use out of these. And if the sleeves happen to be too long, I always just roll them up and cuff them. I got them both this long sleeve shirt. This one is also, I think this one is cheetah print. I always get confused between leopard spots and cheetah spots i think this one is cheetah i really don't know but this one is kind of in like a um i'm not even sure what you call this color it's not brown it's not tan not pink 
it's kind of like in between all of them but i think this one is just so pretty it's just a basic long sleeve shirt next shirt that i got for both of them is another long sleeve tee this one is in a yellow and it has a butterfly on it my girls love butterflies it says keep on shining and then the butterfly kind of has some gold shimmer in there next two things for both of them is a two pack of turtlenecks so the first one is in that muted dusty pink color these are ribbed and then it's a turtleneck like i said the other one that came in that pack is brown i also got them a another dress i think this one will be so cute with some little chelsea booties which i always get them every single year if you're looking for booties for your kids for like fall winter highly recommend the chelsea boots from cat and jack i order those every single year for my girls and they last all the way from fall to winter and my kids are pretty rough outside when they're playing their boots always get scuffed and stuff but those ones always hold up really good so highly recommend those if you're looking for booties so this dress is black and then the spots on it are tan and then it kind of has like this ruffle tiered effect i'm not sure if you guys can tell but it has like two layers of ruffles next two outfits that i have to share with you guys have mini mouse on this i forgot to mention it but i do have a few quite a few disney things in this haul typically i steer away from like character clothing for my children that's just not my vibe i like to stick to neutrals that's just me personally i don't have anything against character clothing like if i'm out and about with my kids in the store and if they see something that has like paw patrol or something on it and they like it i'll buy it for them i won't ever tell them no so i'm not 100 percent against it it's just if i am doing like online shopping by myself then i just typically gravitate towards the neutrals because i feel like you get more wear out of it and they're easier to dress up versus like um a t-shirt that has a character on it so that's just personally me but i did buy quite a few things that have like mini mouse on it because we did just recently surprise our girls with four day park hopper tickets to disneyland so we have a few disneyland trips in our future so i did plan some disney outfits because h&m has such cute disney outfits i feel like they're still like really neutral and they're not super like bright and in your face disney things so the first disney outfit that i got them came with the top and then the bottoms this will be perfect for right now too because it's still really hot outside so here's what the top looks like it's cream and then it has minnie mouse and figaro on it and then the bottoms are like those jeggings so they look like jeans but they're more like on the legging side because they're soft they are stretchy and these do have the elastic waistband which is my favorite for my kids my kids don't really like wearing jeans they just find like the button and the zipper uncomfortable and they just do not like how stiff it is so i try to steer clear away from jeans but i do love the jeggings because they look like jeans but they don't feel like jeans you know so absolutely love that h&m carries these so that is the first little disney outfit i think that'll just be so cute with like a bucket hat and then some sneakers the next outfit that i got is more for like fall time when it starts getting cooler out we love going to disneyland for like the holidays for like halloween christmas time i absolutely love going to the park then because their decorations and like it just i love it this is more like a t-shirt dress but it did come with bottoms which i love because they could either wear it like this if it is long enough it did look long enough on the model on the website it looked like a dress so i think they might be able to get away with this if i did like tights underneath too if i wanted to do that but it did come with some leggings so again it's just cream and then it says mini on it in like pink foil lettering and then it has mini mouse and her bow and dress is leopard print so i just think that is so cute and then it just came with basic black leggings next two shirts that i have to share with you guys they did not have in layla size so these two are just for aurora so the first one is in a baby pink color it's just a long sleeve tee and then it says little sister they were sold out but i am on the hunt for the one that says big sister for layla i love these tees i did buy last season's 
shirts that were kind of like this but they were short sleeve you guys have probably seen my girls wear them they wore it when they met jade for the first time when we brought jade home from the hospital they wore their shirts and then it said um big sister on them so i think they're really cute so i love those i need to grab that big sister one when it comes back in stock that way i can give it to layla the next shirt that i got just for aurora is a ribbed long sleeve shirt kind of in like this mint green color and then the sleeves along like where um your shoulders go it has this like flutter ruffle sleeve i think those sleeves are so cute next thing is just for layla this is a sweatshirt in this really pretty lavender color i've been really into lavender lately i just think it's such a pretty color so it has flowers all over it so that is for layla so now i'm going to jump into uh, I think I'm gonna jump into Jade's stuff because that's pretty much everything matching that I got for Aurora and Layla. I do have a stack here that I have to share with you guys for Jade. And then I do have some bottoms that I got for all of the girls and then some like jackets and sweaters I have to share with you guys. So first I will show you guys what I got for Jade. So again, Jade is my 10 month old. First things that I have to share with you guys for Jade is a two pack so the first one is in this like muted brown beige kind of color and then it has buttons down the front along the collar and then along the sleeves it has a little scallop detail and then the other one in that pack looks like this i am so bad at <laughs> describing colors to you guys but i feel like this one kind of has like a pink undertone to it next thing that i got her is a outfit so it came with the bodysuit and then it came with the bottoms. This does look a little big to me, but I think I did size up in her clothing because it does take a while for it to like fully cool down out here. I don't think it starts like really getting cold out here till like November. So I did size up in all of these. I got like 12 to 18 months. Currently she is wearing six to nine months, mostly nine months. So I did size up in these, but I figured they'll just shrink whenever I wash them too. So here's what the bodysuit looks like. It's brown, it has spots on it, long sleeve. It is ribbed too. And then the bottoms are just matching. So that's the first set that I got her. The next set, again, has the top and the bottom. So it is like a dress with leggings. So it's brown. It has black polka dots and then it has a ruffle on the bottom so it's like a long sleeve t-shirt dress and then it came with black leggings to wear underneath next set that i bought jade has the top and the bottom again but this is like a um, sweatsuit so the top is like a tan brown has black spots and this is a sweatshirt too and then the bottoms are matching sweats super cute and this tie does actually work too it's not just like a faux tie which a lot of baby clothing does have next set is also a little like sweatshirt set so the top is a sweatshirt it's black and then it says more love in leopard i feel like i got a lot of leopard print but i just think it's so cute especially on little girls and then the bottoms are just little leopard print leggings to match the last set that i got is for disneyland and i think this one will match perfect with that um sweatshirt dress that i got for both layla and aurora so they're not an exact match because like i said i wasn't able to find any like matching sets for jade to match her older sisters but I did find things that are really similar, so she'll still be able to match them a little bit. This is a sweatsuit outfit, so the top is a sweatshirt, and then the bottoms are sweats. So it's cream, and then it has Mickey and Minnie. Again, it has the pink leopard on her bow. And then the bottoms are just sweatpants to match Minnie Mouse's bow. I did get her another Disney sweater, so this one 
is gray and then it has Minnie Mouse blowing a bubble. I think it's super cute. Easy to just throw on top of whatever outfit she's wearing at Disney whenever it starts getting cooler. And then I did get her a cardigan. I think this cardigan is so cute. So it's in that dusty pink color and then it has like little pom-poms all around it. It has some buttons down the front. I just think this is so cute. I did size up in this too because I really like that like oversized cardigan look, especially on like little babies. I just think it's so cute. So I did get this one in 12 to 18 months. So that is pretty much all of Jade's sets that I got her. So next I will show you guys all of the bottoms that I got for them. So the first ones are for Jade and these match those tops that I shared with you guys. So they do match exactly, but you have to buy them separately. They didn't come in a set. So just keep that in mind. So the bottoms are literally like the tops. They are ribbed, really nice material. They have the same buttons as the tops do. But what I really, really love about these, and I, like I said, I really appreciate them because I struggle to find bottoms that fit my girl's waist and their legs at the same time. These bottoms do have that little like button you can just like pull the thing and then it'll um, tighten their waist so really appreciate that h&m has that i think that's amazing i wish most kids clothing had that next two bottoms came in a set of two so i got some for layla some for aurora and these will match perfectly with that outfit that i showed you guys that i got for jade so the bottoms do match perfect so the first leggings are just those leopard print and then these leggings are also for Disney. So they're just black and then it has Minnie Mouse on one leg. So if you notice what I did with the girls clothing is I kind of stuck to a theme like similar colors, similar like patterns. That way I can easily like create multiple outfits and I'm not stuck to like just the outfit that came in like one pack you know what i mean i can easily like swap things around because they all kind of match for example like these leggings will match that t-shirt dress that i got them or these leggings will even match um like the basic tees that i got them so i always intentionally kind of do that that way they get more use out of their outfits and they're not just restricted to wearing the outfit that came in a set you know what i mean so i did do that intentionally and then the next two bottoms that i have to share with you guys are jeggings so again they look like jeans but they are soft and stretchy so these ones are black kind of like a faded black too i'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but they are more on the faded side and then it has Minnie Mouse on one side and then on the bottom it has Figaro and these do they no these do not have the little um, adjustable waist just keep that in mind but again they are jegging so super stretchy so the last bottoms I got for all three of the girls the baby ones are a little bit different so I'll show you guys here in a second so here's what Aurora and Layla's look like. So again, they're jeggings, but these are um, blue washed. And then it has Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse all over the front and the back. Again, these do not have the adjustable waist, but they are stretchy. So that's what Layla and Aurora's look like. And then this is what the babies look like. The baby ones are more um, like true jeans. But they still are really stretchy so i think these are still considered jeggings because they're not rough or stiff at all they're super stretchy but these do have a button there's no zipper at all so i think these will still be pretty comfortable the waist is still really stretchy so here's what layla and aurora's look like and then here's what the baby ones look like so a little bit of a difference but they'll still be able to match the last things that i have to share with you guys are jackets and sweaters um i did get them random hair bands i don't know if you guys really want to see them they're not really exciting 
but I did get a pack of hair bands because you can never have too many hair bands, especially when you have all girls. So I got these ones. These are my favorite kind of hair ties for the girls. So the first jackets that I'm going to share with you guys, hands down, are my favorite that I've ever bought the girls. They are so pretty. If they had my size, I would totally buy it. And I'm so bummed because they did not have Layla's size. I searched and searched and I just could not find it so I just don't think they make it in her size but I am on the hunt for something similar because Layla fell in love with it too when she saw it and I don't blame her because it is so cute so just just take a second to look at it how darling is this jacket so it is Sherpa but this is really thick this will definitely keep your child warm fall and winter time so highly recommend this if you're looking for a Sherpa jacket this one is really good quality and the inside is lined too so you don't have that Sherpa material in the inside. And then I love how it's like color blocked so it's cream and then it has like this pink, like the darker pink. Then it has a more like um, taupey pink color and then like that camel brown color. So if anybody knows where I can find a jacket like this for Layla, please please let me know. So the last jackets that I have to share with you guys are for Layla and Aurora and then I got this one for Jade to kind of match. I think they had Jade size in this jacket but I think the reason why I didn't get it is because I felt like a jean jacket on a baby might be a little too uncomfortable so I kind of just tried to find one that matches. So again these are for Disney. So it's a black denim jacket the buttons are silver and then in the front above the pocket it says Minnie Mouse in pink cursive lettering and then in the back it has Minnie Mouse and Figaro so one for Aurora one for Layla and then to kind of match them a little bit I just got this um like jacket it's kind of like a um like rain jacket material so it's just gray and then it has the Minnie Mouse all over it and then the inside is lined with fleece so this will definitely keep her warm too and then the hood is my favorite part Aurora and Layla both had a jacket like this when they were babies and we took them to Disneyland it's the jackets that have the little mini ears so I have pictures of both Layla and Aurora with a sweater like this with their little hood on with the ears and I just think they're so cute. So I plan on taking a picture like that with Jade. So that's why I got that jacket. But anyways, you guys, that is it for this clothing haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not sure what my favorite is. It might be that Sherpa jacket. I just think it is so darling. Let me know what your guys' favorites were. Don't forget to check the description for all of the links to everything. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this clothing haul, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.